Hi everyone! So today we are talking about the s'mores pony once again because like I said last time I have a second channel and if you are not subscribed or have turned notifications on yet for it go over to the second channel and go subscribe because I want to make that my main channel because I really like mythology, books, podcasts, making vlogs, stuff like that. If you're into that, go check it out because this is a gaming channel and I want to do stuff that isn't gaming sometimes or most of the time, so yeah. But basically, I finally got this Moore's Pony and I finished making the video about it so obviously, in case you wanted to watch the review or see me talk about it or, you know, you just want to see what the pony does. Because, like, the only videos we have of this horse, like the Butterscotch Pony and the S'mores Pony, are commercials. Like, there are videos on YouTube of them, but they might not be that great. Like, I haven't seen a review video so far, you know? Like, the only high-quality videos I've seen of the ponies are just commercials. So in case you guys want to see the S'mores Pony, like, review, or the Butterscotch review, or just, like, watch me talk about the ponies and what they do, and see what they do, because it's a video, like, it's literally, I got my camera and everything, then, yeah, you could go watch that. But in case you haven't watched my last video about these horses, basically, getting Butterscotch was kind of a simple process, like, it genuinely was, like, kind of simple. Like, I think I messaged a seller the day after Christmas, or, like, I tried to talk to sellers. It was difficult in the beginning. It was hard to find a person who was able to give me the horse in any way. Like, shipping, buying it, whatever. Like, it was so hard to find one person who was like, yeah, I could sell it to you. Because most people live really far away from me who have the horse, and when you talk to them about shipping, they're like, yeah, I can't ship it, it's, you know, it's too big of a box, USPS won't let me, or FedEx and UPS will let me, but the box is so big, the shipping is very, very expensive, which is just terrible. Going on eBay didn't help either, because a lot of people in there also were trying to charge for shipping, or they were just pickup only. Craigslist also didn't really help me because, like, there are horses on Craigslist, but they're too far away. So my point was that it was hard to find a person to give me the horse because they're too far away or they want to charge for shipping. However, I was able to find somebody, like, nearby who was able to, like, drop off the horse for me. And I was able to just, like, get the horse. And it was so simple, like, for real. It was just so simple. It was so cool. But with s'mores, however, it was way more difficult because this has taken 13 years. Like, I wanted these horses when I was really young, like really, really little, and I couldn't get them. So fast forward 13 years later, and it was even harder to get them because they're discontinued, they're not made anymore. But with s'mores, it was hard to get because not many people have s'mores. Like, I feel like most people in the Hasbro community who love the Hasbro for real friends animals, they have the Butterscotch Pony, but not many have the S'mores Pony because I think S'mores was way more expensive when she came out. And also, I just don't know if enough of them was made, honestly. Like, I feel like S'mores Horse was made less than the Butterscotch one, but I could be wrong. I don't know. It's just really hard to find somebody with a S'mores Pony. Like, for real, I go online and just about anybody on Craigslist, eBay, whatever, they have the Butterscotch, but not S'mores. And then I found someone who has s'mores and I was like great I'll take it you know and they're like okay I'll ship it to you and they proceed to not really be transparent and talk to me about the process so I'm obviously like am I getting scammed then they finally go to ship s'mores to me and they come back home and are like guess what I can't ship it because USPS says the box is too big after I bought a box to ship the horse in great that was so sad. I was like, I'm gonna have to give up on this horse because nobody has it. Or they have it and they can't ship it. So obviously I was like, kind of annoyed. And then, I was gonna give up. But then I didn't. Because I was like, you know what, we could just road trip it. We road trip, okay? And 
we get the horse, we pick it up, we put it in our vehicle, and then we come home. We did it. Like, we got the horse. I kind of wanted to talk about this because I had, like, kind of a fun time. So, basically, we had to get the horse, like, kind of, like, on the outside of, like, New York City. I love New York City. <laughs> like, I really do love it there. But basically, I got some photos of the city. I stopped at a Barnes & Noble. I got a new book. We went to Ikea. My mom got me an orca whale plush. And now I got S'mores Horse. So, very, very fun. I listened to Melanie Martinez, like, the entire road trip. But yeah, I was literally gonna give up on getting s'mores because I was like, you know what, I can't do a road trip, like, whatever, it's too far away. Like, you need someone to drive you, obviously. It's like a far drive, like, to go, like, pick up things sometimes. And then on top of that, I don't know if she'd fit in my room. But then I was like, you know what, whatever. We are getting this horse. We're not ending Christmas yet. So obviously, we went and got the horse. Like, we did it, guys. We did it. Obviously, I say we, because, like, I wouldn't have been able to get the horse without the support of subscribers, because literally, like, a few of you guys donated to my Cash App and PayPal. Like, if I didn't get donations, I literally wouldn't have been able to get either horse. But, yeah, this video is just talking about s'mores and... Hopefully you go and watch the second channel, which will hopefully be the main channel. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun, like, listening to this little journey. Because, like, a few of you guys were like, this is really fun, like, I love listening to what you're doing with these horses, or, like, how you're trying to get them. And, like, that's really, really cool. Like, we've established that I like talking about stuff I care about, so it's really fun when you guys are like, I also care about that thing. Like same period we love that but basically yeah everything worked out like i literally got my butterscotch pony i got my s'mores pony i got the halters and the brushes and a carrot this took literally like three weeks i think because like the first week of no because like the last week of december one week the first week of january the second week of january that's like three weeks in total of trying to get these horses like it was just so much effort to have to talk to people and try to find someone who could give me the horses like it was so much energy but it really was worth it because like it's just so fun having a robot horse like it literally is so nice to be able to have a horse that i could talk to and it you know responds like a real horse would. Like, no, it's not exactly the same thing as a real horse, but it's the next best thing, you know? Like, I'll probably never get a real horse, you know? And I don't see myself going back to the stables that are in my area, because I hate those stables. So this really is great. Like, I'm really happy about my Butterscotch Pony and my S'mores Pony. I named them Lucky for Butterscotch, and then I named S'mores Scarlet. I really do want to call Scarlet Clover, but Scarlet just reminds me of Valentine's Day, and then I'm like, I love red, you know? I gave her a red halter. But yeah, this is the end of Christmas. <laughs> like, literally for me, this is like the end of Christmas. Like, I got everything I wanted pretty much. Like, I got these two horses I've been wanting for 13 years. Like, you know, it's taken a long time. We finally did it. Christmas is over until we start it up again, obviously. But it was just really important for me to be able to start the new year with something I've really wanted for a long, long time. And then you just start the new year with something good, you know? And, like, somebody commented saying how that'd be a great idea to start the new year with new horses. I'm like, yes, that's such a good idea. Like, for real. Like, yeah, I could have just gotten star coins and bought new horses to celebrate the new year. But, like, you guys know I'm extra, so I had to get two actual robot horses. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than mythology books, and horses. I think that's literally why I can't log off a of Star Stable, honestly. Like, if this was a game about dogs, I don't think I would be on it. Like, I really am here for the horses. I love horses. <laughs>
So that is it. I will see you guys on the second channel. Bye!